Hey guys, um, I get a, a question I get quite often uh, regarding Zippos is where can I find uh, replacement flints? Um, well, there's a, there's a lot of different places you can find them. Uh, for the most part, they're, they're easily found on the internet, but not everyone wants to buy them on the internet because it's kind of a cheap item to begin with. But then, you know, once you're paying extra for shipping, now you're almost doubling the price of the product. So it'd be easier just to get them locally. Um, places you can find flints locally are smoke shops. Okay, if you have a smoke shop by you, uh, they will have flints. They, there's a good chance they'll have Zippo flints, uh, but even if they don't, they'll have some other brands. Okay, that will work fine in your Zippo. Um, other places you can find flints. Again, you're not going to find Zippo flints here, but grocery stores. Um, generally, you won't find Zippo Zippo brand flints in grocery stores, is because they they're not licensed Zippo dealers. If they don't sell the lighters, they're probably not going to sell the other products as well. Um, but you can find other brands such as Ronson, okay, which is a very common uh, brand. They, you know, Ronson has their own line of lighters. They sell uh, lighter fluid as well as flints. Uh, very easily um, found as well as a lot cheaper than Zippo brand fluid and flints. Uh, in your grocery store, you're going to look by, um, there's two places I found them, most commonly by the tobacco products, okay, behind the cigarette counter, uh, wherever they have cigars, stuff like that. Besides that, also wherever they have their candles, they might sell other things uh, such as flints and fluid, um, which is another common spot in your grocery store uh, to find them. However, in this video, you're looking at a Bic lighter because I have a little tip or trick to show you um, to, to actually find flints in other lighters. This uh, Bic lighter uses a flint. Uh, it creates a spark to light the gas, even though it's gas... Um, operated, uh, it still uses the same uh, same method as a Zippo where you have a spark wheel that you um, spark a, a flint to get your sparks, okay, to light the, the fluid itself uh, to get your flame. So in this video I'm actually going to show you how to take the uh, flint out of a, uh, a throwaway lighter like this and use it in your Zippo. Um, oftentimes when you're done, when the fluid runs out of a Bic lighter or a similar uh, throwaway or disposable type lighter, People just chuck them. They don't realize that, you know what, there's a flint in there that I can use. People Usually it's just, it's not that they're stupid, they're not stupid people at all, because because I was the same person, you know, years ago myself. It's just something you don't think of. You don't put a lot of thought into, you know, a throwaway lighter. You use it, hey, it's out of fluid, throw it out. But there is a flint in there, and you can easily uh, get to it and recycle it and use that in your Zippo lighter. Um, so let me show you how to do that. The only tool you need is something small. Basically, you're doing a lot of prying, um, so that's that's all you really need. I got a small flathead screwdriver here, uh, no big deal. If you have something else you can use that just has a small flat tip, that's fine. Now this Bic lighter, which they often have, uh, newer ones, they have a smooth bar in the middle. Okay. Now that it's a child safety uh, feature uh, for children. Generally, their fingers are going to slip off there. They don't really have the power or the knowledge to, you know, strike the side of the wheel. Okay, um, so that's a, a feature, a child safety feature. Uh, first of all, even when it, even when the lighter, lighter is new, excuse me, uh, I remove that. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is uh, make sure you hold because you're not uh, trying to get the flint right now. You're just removing this lock in the case that this lighter is new and you just want to remove that child safety feature that's annoying you put your finger on the corner of the wheel to make sure the wheel doesn't pop out of place put your flat, you know, you're going to waste a little bit of gas hold your button down to get in there put your flat object behind that metal kind of squeeze it in and then you're going to be prying the back okay so now that the flat head screwdriver is behind that piece of metal now hold your, your wheel down tip of your finger and just rotate, okay, which is prying upward. And that thing just went flying, and luckily I'm right in front of a windowsill, so it landed on the windowsill. So that's the, that's the piece, that's the um, child safety lock. So now that that's off, this is easier to actually strike yourself. Um, so even if your lighter's new, you may want to just, you know, now that you're watching this video right now, obviously, uh, now you know how to take off this child safety feature just to make your lighter more user friendly. Uh, these things tend to really annoy me. <laughs> but anyway, now that that's off, I'm going to actually pop the wheel off so I can get to that flint. Um, very easy to do. You're just, now that the child safety lock is off, you're just putting that, uh, your whatever prying tool you're using, underneath the wheel. Okay, put your finger. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this lower my fingers 
and as I pry that wheel up, it's going to pop off. I'm actually going to do it in my hand like this, okay, because I don't want all the parts going flying. Basically, you have wheel. Underneath the wheel, you have your flint, and then underneath that, you have your, your spring, which is giving tension on the flint so that it's not, when you spark your wheel, it's rubbing on the flint as opposed to just moving it out of the way or pushing it out of the way. Um, once you pop this out of place, it's going to go flying, okay, especially if you're, you just go, if you just go like this and pop that out off, you're going to lose your flint. You're not going to know, especially if you have carpet, you'll never find it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it down here in the bottom two fingers, wrap my hand around it, okay, get that ready. So all I have to do is push down, I'm going to close my hand up and then pop it off. All right, that's it. That's all it took. So now at the wheel, it's actually half, you can see there it's half off. I'm actually, I'm going to have to go back and do this again to make sure the other side's off. There we go. Now I felt the spring. Okay, so now we have our parts. We have the flint wheel. Okay, we have the flint itself, which you'll notice um, this act, this lighter actually still has gas in it. So I'm going to reuse this, and I'll show you how to put it back together in just a moment. Um, but you have a, a large flint. Now, when your gas finally runs out, this is going to be smaller. It's going to be about the size of the flint you want to put in your Zippo. If for you know any reason you take it out early and you have a very long flint like this, you can just you know hold it with two pairs of pliers and just kind of snap it in half. So you have two smaller flints that are usable in your Zippo. Um, all right, to put, to put this back together, in this case it does have fluid left, so I'm gonna put it back together. You wanna make sure your wheel, you have a flat side where the bottom of the spring was, and then what appears to be silver, which is just the exposed flint that it was rubbing on, the wheel was rubbing on. You wanna make sure you're going the right way. So that's not sparking that way. If I rotate the wheel around, it is sparking, so make sure you put your wheel in the right direction. Now this is very difficult because you have to keep a steady steady hand. I'm pushing the spring down, okay, with the flint, getting it back in that little tube area. Okay, that's exactly what <laughs> you don't want to happen. It went flying, luckily it landed next to me, so I have it again. But um, let's try this again. I'm going to push this down. All right, holding it with the tip of my finger. Okay, now you want to put the wheel in. Now you can kind of, once you rest that wheel in front, you'll see the flint is pushing against it, so the wheel is now taking that spot. You just want to push down fairly hard, and it's going to kind of snap back in place. you got to get both sides. I only have one side in right now. All right. It's very hard to do, but once you snap that in, Ah oh, crap! I put it in the wrong. <laughs> I put it in the wrong direction. The wheel has to be the other the other way. So I'm gonna have to pop this off again. What a pain, right? And I hope I don't run out of time. All right, the wheel. All right, should go in that way now. All right, do this again. <laughs> you don't want to put it in the wrong direction because then you got to take it out and do it all over again. Real pain. But because this lighter does have gas in it still, I want to reassemble it how it was so that I'm able to use it again. Um, for this demonstration I did not have a empty Bic lighter. Ah oh, crap. My flint went flying again. Let me tell you, I'm really lucky that it keeps landing right next to me and I'm not losing it. More than, more than likely when you do this at home and your flint goes flying you're never going to find it again. But I guess luck's on my side. However, time is not. Time is running out. I'm almost at 10 minutes, so I'm trying, trying to rush this now. Uh, let's see. Now this part here, it's just kind of brute force. You gotta, you gotta just push hard to snap it back in, which I'm not doing right now. Come on, running out of time. <laughs> running out of time. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to do it. All right, well, I'm going to have to put this back together off off uh, camera here. But uh, it is it is easy to get back together, as you see. You just have to make sure your, your wheel's facing the right direction so that you do get a spark and you can reuse your lighter. But in most cases, you're not going to... Um, uh, you're not going to have any fluid left when you're stealing your flint out of here, so it's not going to make a difference. You can just throw all the parts away at that point because you don't have any, any fluid left, and these are not refillable. So anyway, that's how you find uh, spare flints. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.